hi viewers welcome to ganesh youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to explain you how to create stub connection in tecla structures just like this okay let's start now we're going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create and click on ok and click on ok now we're going to create columns so click on steel and select this column and pick the first point at here to create the column click on here to create one more column right click on mouse enter now go to the elevation along grid a you can see now these both two columns are on a grid a so click on window and, and select this view list and select elevation on grid a and click on this arrow and close this window now we're going to create beam at level 10 feet so click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here to create beam right click on mouse interrupt and click on window and select this 3d view you'll get like this okay now we're going to create connection between column to beam with the stub connection so go to the application and components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in search bar type number 119 you'll get this component stub connection 119 number component and select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam to create the connection between column to beam with stub connection like this okay now close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse read view. you can see by default you'll get this type of connection okay now we're going to edit this connection as we required so right click on mouse interrupt and double click on this connection you can see you can increase the length of this connection from edge of this flange to edge of this connection plate for example we're going to take 10 inch so enter here 10 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now the length of this connection is increased by 10 inch from edge of this column to edge of this end plate you can measure this distance also just go to the top level click on window and select this view list and click on plan at elevation 10 then click on this arrow you'll get the top view of this connection and zoom it you can see go to edit and select this measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at here if you are not getting the snap symbol you need to activate this option snap to geometry lines or points and then pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and place the dimension to create the dimension value 10 inch if you want to increase you can increase just select this connection let's take here two feet then click on modify click on modify to see the result select this component and then click on modify you can see now we have the two feet length of this connection but we record only 10 inch so i'm going to take here 10 inch then click on modify you can see now we have the 10 inch length okay click on window and select this 3d view and zoom it now go to the parts tab in parts you can control the thickness of this top plate from this option for example we're going to take 1 by 4 inch thickness of this connection plate then select this connection plate and click on modify to see the result click on modify you can see now the thickness of this plate should be 1 by 4 inch similarly you can change the bottom thickness of this plate also for example we're going to take here 1 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see now the plate thickness should be 1 by 4 inch similarly you can change the uh, thickness of this middle plate also web plate so for example we're going to rotate this view 
use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point you can rotate like this now use the shortcut control 2 for shaded view you can see now you can clearly see the thickness of this middle plate web plate now select this connection and zoom it now let's take here the thickness of this middle plate also 1 by 4 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now the thickness of this plate should be 1 by 4 inch now coming to this connection plates you can control the thickness of this connection plate from here you can see end plate for example this end plate thickness we are going to take here off inch and right click on mouse interrupt and select this connection plate then click on modify to see the result by default we have the off inch let's take here 1 by 4 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate is 1 by 4 similarly another end plate also we are going to take 1 by 4 then click on modify you can see now this plate thickness also 1 by 4 but we record half inch so I am going to take half inch thickness of this connection plates then click on modify to see the result you can see now this connection plates should be half inch thickness you can see by default we have the chamfer at this location for the middle plate if you don't require then you can remove this stiffener go to parameters tab here you can see by default we have the chamfer at here if you want to enter the chamfer value you can enter here horizontal vertical distance but we'll, we don't require any chamfer at this location so click on here and select without chamfer option then click on here and here also take the without chamfer option then click on modify to see the result you can see now we don't have any chamfer at this location and here also and here also like that you can remove the chamfer uh, for this connection now coming to the bolts click on this bolts tab and here you can see you can control the bolt size of this connection at here for example we are going to take 5 by 8 inch bolt and tolerance 1 by 16 then select this connection and then click on modify to see the result you can see now the bolt size should be 5 by 8 inch from this option you can control the number of bolts and bolt spacings so for example in the lengthwise of this connection plate let's take the edge distance 4 inch and uh, number of rows 3 and the spacing let's take 5 inch and the edge distance 4 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the 3 bolts 3 rows 1 2 3 rows you can see this 4 indicates the edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate and this 5 inch indicates the spacing between the two bolts from bolt to bolt this spacing should be 5 inch now coming to this edge distance 4 inch from this option similarly you can control the widthwise spacing also for example edge distance we are going to take 2 inch and number of columns we are going to take 2 and the spacing 4 inch then click on more view to see the result you can see now this 2 inch indicates the spacing between bolt to edge of this plate and this 2 indicates the number of columns 2 and the 4 indicates the spacing between the two bolts 4 inch and 2 indicates the edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate now go to the top view planet elevation 10 feet by default we have the full depth plate at the top and here up to the connection plate width if you want to maintain the same flange equal straight then you need to measure the distance go to the picture tab you can see from inside edge to this connection distance you need to measure so click on edit and select this measure and select this vertical distance and zoom it and pick the first point it here and pick the second point at this location and place it the distance you can see now we have the three and a half inch from inside flange to this distance 
we need to measure this distance and we need to enter this value at here to create the straight plate so right click must interrupt and select this connection plate now enter here spacing 3.5 inch and here also enter 3.5 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the straight plate like this then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse redraw view now click on this window and select this 3d view click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see you will get like this ok that's it about how to create stub connection in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you